I know everything I need to know, need to do. I know the diet, I know the exercise that work. I'm just too lazy and lack the willpower to keep it up for more than two weeks. Any issues on that? Any thoughts on the issue? Yes, dude, I actually have, like, all right. Here's the thing, man. Let me ask you a question. Does brushing your teeth take willpower? Does every morning when you brush your teeth, you're like, okay, gotta brush my teeth. No, it's not a trick question, it doesn't. You just brush your teeth automatically because it's part of your daily routine and your habit. You wake up, you brush your teeth, even on days that you don't wanna brush your teeth, you walk over to the sink and you brush your teeth because that's what you're used to doing. It's just normal. So what I would recommend is you shouldn't be trying to use willpower to work out. In my opinion, motivation and working out have nothing to do with each other. You get into a habit you get into a routine where even on the days where you are tired as fuck and you feel like shit, you wake up, you put your gym clothes on, and you drive to the gym. Because that's just what you do. It's not about, am I going to go to the gym today? That question's already been answered. It's more about, you just do it, just like you brush your teeth. It's automatic. Okay? So the way willpower works is it's, it's a resource, kind of like mana or energy or rage and wow. I guess it would be more closely aligned with mana right? Willpower is a resource. If you use too much of your willpower, you aren't going to have the willpower to make the correct decisions. Willpower is drained every time you make a decision. It's called decision fatigue. Every time you make a decision through the day, what color shirt should I wear? What should I order for lunch? What should I, um, if, you, if you're a, a manager at a, at a company, um, all the decisions you make throughout the day, big or small decisions, they're going to drain your willpower, right? Your, your willpower bar gets drained. Right? The more and more willpower you use, the, the, the um, worse and worse your decisions become. The willpower gets reset when you sleep or when you eat sugar. Um, so the main, the main uh, thing is you don't want to rely on willpower to make a good decision like your health or whether or not you should be eating healthy or whether or not you should go to the gym. It's not a reliable way to do things, right? Sometimes you'll have the willpower to make the right decision, and sometimes you will not have the willpower to make the right decision. It's the same reason you shouldn't go grocery shopping at 10 p.m. when you're hungry. It just does, it's not a good idea, right? Um, so build the habits and the discipline. Don't rely on the willpower. The willpower and the motivation are not gonna be there for you. So how do you build the habits? I think the, the, the very first thing you said is, I'm lazy and it's hard for me to go. I think one of the number one, motivators as humans is self-identity. It's how you look at yourself. If you tell yourself, I am a lazy person that skips workouts, what generally happens is you're a lazy person that skips workouts, right? Every time you skip a workout, you begin to build the identity as a workout skipper. And every time you don't skip a workout, you begin to build the identity of someone who doesn't skip their workouts. So what I would tell you is you can choose how you want to behave in reality. And all you have to do to make that come into reality is take votes with each one of your actions. Actually, I'll just quote James Clear on this. James Clear is every action is a vote for who you want to become, right? Everything you do on a day-to-day -day basis is a vote for who you want to become, right? So um, if you go to the gym, you're voting for the per type of person that goes to the gym. If you're eating healthy, you're voting for the type of person that eats healthy. If you're going to McDonald's or fast food and whatever, then you're voting, that's a vote for the type of person that's not eating healthy. So these day-to-day -day decisions matter. And once you kind of choose, I am, I am is very powerful. I am going to eat healthy. I am going to go to the gym. I am the type of person that does not skip workouts no matter how long the day's been or how you know tired I am. I'm just the type of person that goes. Then you start building the self-identity of the type of person that goes to the gym. Now, if you're the type of person that goes to the gym and then you skip the gym, guess what happens? Your identity is shattered and we don't like that as humans. Like if we, if you build the identity of I never skip the gym, I'm gonna hold myself and my health accountable. I am not going to be a gym skipper, okay? And then you skip the gym, guess what happens? You just, you lie to yourself, right? Then we, as humans, once we build an identity, we don't wanna break that, right? We're caught up in, the, in our, our own egos of what we are and who we are. So once you start going to the gym, 
and you, you, you stop skipping, then you have that identity formed and it's much easier to keep going. From there, you build momentum. Once you build momentum, each subsequent day that you keep going to the gym becomes easier and easier and easier because you don't think about it. You don't think about it at all. You just go, just like with brushing your teeth, how I started the conversation, you just keep going. And I think that is, yeah, that's probably like the long answer to your question, man. Self-identity, discipline versus, versus uh, motivation and how willpower works and you know, how to be aware of that.